Would you sign a bill making Michigan a right to work state? It's going to cross your desk. I would sign it, but I don't put it on my agenda. Would you sign a bill to eliminate the Michigan business tax? <laughs> Absolutely. I've been proposing that since I started the campaign trail, and I propose replacing it with a flat 6% corporate income tax. Would you dissolve the MEDC? No. Actually, the MEDC originally had a good role, and it lost its way. So it fundamentally needs to be reformed and become less political and more professional. Would you sign a bill restricting abortion? Um, yes. I'm pro-life, pro-family. Would you sign a bill allowing unlimited charter schools in Detroit? I would look seriously at that. When you say unlimited, again, I want to make sure they're quality charter schools. We have to have quality in education, whether it's charter, private, public, or whatever. All right. You can pick one of those answers and kind of expound upon it if you'd like. Okay. Well, I would pick education, and I would take it in the broader setting, because this is one of the things that I believe is being fundamentally overlooked in our system is if you go to Lansing and talk about education today, the whole discussion is about funding levels. It's about this funding level or that funding level. And it's a flawed discussion. Where are the children in this discussion? The point of having an educational system is educating our kids. And the real issue we need to answer is what do we have to do to make sure each child in our schools gets a great education each and every year? And we should be measuring that. And it's not just about standardized scores. My view is there should be a portfolio of work that travels with each child. Their papers, their reports, that people can objectively measure progress. And then we should work backwards from there to say, how do we get the best teachers? Let's reward the best teachers. Let's look at merit for them. For teachers that aren't succeeding, what's the corrective action plan? Or how do we deal with that situation? Then how do you minimize the overhead in the system? Because again, frontline is great, but let's minimize the overhead. And then how do you fund education?